Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of USD card and what to expect from the market this week. If you're just coming across our channel, you're just coming across our videos, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Let's get straight into the business of this video. Last week when we did our analysis of um, USD card, the market was here and we expected the market to go bearish. Having seen the evening star here and um, the shooting star, these are both bearish reversal candlestick patterns and they occurred at a resistance region but of course due to the market or the events and happenings in um, the US of course it's USD and um, we understand the effects of inflation and every other thing that's happening right now we could see the market kept buying then on Thursday when the news on PPI was released, um, we saw the market make a huge bullish move. It bought up to this point. I think um, the market made about 150 pips um, that day before it started selling again. So on Friday, the market ended as a bearish arami. So what do we expect of the market this week? That's what this video is about. Let's um start analysis on the monthly time frame at least for the benefit of those who uh, are just coming across our channel so that they can be carried along now we can see that usd card has been on an ascending has been making an ascending channel for a couple of months now i think it's over a year it's over a year and this has been the support and this has been the resistance region now the market has not crossed this region i think this has been the highest point in the last 12 months so the market has not crossed this point until last week thursday when it got to this point so um, each time the market buys to this region it sells and each time it sells to this region it starts buying so currently we can see that the market is at the region which was a resistance region or which is still a resistance region okay let's see the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame we can see that um, two weeks ago the market ended as an inverted pin but then last week it also ended as an inverted pin bar what's an inverted pin bar it's not exactly a bearish reversal candlestick pattern i've said that over and over again if you've been following our channel you must have heard that a couple of times it's not exactly a bearish reversal candlestick pattern even though it shows bearish rejection it also shows that there are still um buyers in the market okay remember this after the occurrence of this inverted pin bar we can see that there was never a time that the market sold below this candlestick which the previous candlestick so it shows that there is still buyers or there are still buyers in the market even though it also shows bearish rejection so here again last week we have the market closed as an inverted pin bar the same thing we're going to say even though we are expecting the market to sell we're expecting the market to go bearish this week at the same time we will not ignore the fact that there are still buyers in the market that's it so let's get back to the daily time frame on the daily time frame you can see the market sold on friday and it's got to this region this way it's closed i'm making this a bearish arami but at the same time it did not close below the 10 day simple moving average so the market ended as a bearish arami which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern then let's see what happened 
or what's happening on the four hours time frame. All right, here we go. On the four hours time frame, you can see um, the market makes significant bearish move. This this was on Thursday when it got to this point, then it started selling and it got here. Yeah, then I think this was on Friday. Yeah, this was on Friday. The then the simple moving average crossed over the candlestick, which is a bearish entry trigger, and um, the market closed as a small bearish candle. So what do we expect from the market this week? Considering the fact that um, on the four hours time frame, we've seen the market, we've seen um, the tender simple moving average crossing over the candlestick, which is a bearish entry trigger. Then on the daily time frame, we've seen a bearish arami, and on the weekly time frame, we've seen um, the inverted pin bar, which shows um, huge bearish rejection. We're expecting the markets to go bearish this week, especially for the fact that it is still at the resistance region. In fact, all of these things occur at the resistance region. So we're expecting the markets to go bearish this week. And of course, we said this in our previous videos, we're expecting the markets to come to this region. This is where we're expecting the market to come to. So that's what we're expecting from the market this week. If you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section. Then if you'd like to register for our complete forex training, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can register for our complete forex training. And if you want to subscribe for our signal service, we'll give proper entry, stop loss, and take profit. You can also check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for our signal service. Then if you want to get a copy of my book, Trading Without Tears, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get a soft copy. If you want a hard copy, you can send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. Tell us your location. We'll tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.